Hi guys, in this video, I'm showing how I put together my office. I'm not even going to show you what it looked like before. It was really basic and it wasn't inspiring at all. COVID hit and I found myself in this room majority of the day. I spent so much time here, so I wanted a space that I can feel good in and that can help with my creativity. This is what the final project looks like. I'm very pleased with how everything turns out, but let me show you how I got there. I for sure wanted to keep the black accent wall, however, I want to repaint it from flat to satin. Because flat black was too hard to keep clean, any kind of rubbing, it will show smudges and it will drive me insane. I first start by removing the two wall shelves so I can put actual shelves in. I got these Billy shelves from Ikea with two extensions on each side because I want the shelves to have this built-in look from floor to ceiling. I actually assemble one of the shelves first to see how it would fit because I don't trust that our walls are straight. After confirming that they will fit good, I went and started building my middle accent wall first. I knew I wanted hidden LED lights surrounding the wall, so I used the same material and method as I did with my loft. If you haven't seen that video, click on the top right hand corner to check it out. Basically what I did was I bought these corner trim pieces. These are like $5 for an 8 foot per piece. I measure and planned everything. I used a nail gun to nail my trim pieces to the wall. Like I said, if you want to see it in depth of how I did this, check out my LED loft video. After the surrounding frame is up, I caulked the edges to give it a finished look and it also acts as an adhesive for the trim pieces to stick to the wall. Then I started on my wall paneling. I used the same plywood I have used in my past videos. I have used this plywood for so many projects. It's cheap, light, durable, and super easy to work with. After nailing in all the pieces, I patch up any cracks, holes, and openings using spackles. Then I sand everything lightly. Then came my favorite part, which is painting. Just kidding, it's really not my favorite. I really fucking hate painting, but it's part of the process. While the paint was drying, I started on the floor. This was a big project, and so I had to make separate videos about the flooring. If you haven't seen that video, click on the top right hand corner to check it out. I basically ripped out the carpet that came with the house and put in vinyl flooring. This was my first time doing flooring for a whole room and it turned out great. After the flooring got installed, I put the shelves in its place. The shelves had a brown black color so I painted them the same black color as the wall. After painting, I install my LED light strip around the frame of the wall by using the L-shaped trim pieces. The light strip is hidden and you can only see this accent light when I turn it on. I then moved the two desks in their place because I needed a place to sit and work. Next, I did my wiring for the hanging light and then I added an extra light switch. Then comes styling my shelves and this is the fun part. I already have some stuff on there so it was just about adding more and rearranging things around. Everything has a balance and everything has its own place. And then I bought some molding to finish the top of the shelves to really give them that built-in look. I then worked on my painting for the middle of the accent wall. 
I bought a 36 by 48 canvas, created an abstract stroke painting using acrylic paint, framed it, and hung it up. I also made a whole video about how I create my frame in my paintings. So if you have been following my videos, all the paintings that you have seen in the house are created by me. I got this super simple hanging light from Ikea that I love. However, it didn't emit enough light for me. So I changed it up completely to another light with multiple bulbs that I can change colors. And this is what it looks like. I worked on some pretty crazy projects late at night. So I wanted a lighting to match my mood. I love, love accent lighting. And it's just crazy that people are just now catching up to this trend. For example, if you keep up with cars like me, you can see that car manufacturers are putting in some crazy ambient lighting in their cars. And it's not just cars. If you follow real estate trends, especially custom houses, ambient lighting is all over the property. Ambient lighting can enhance your mood tremendously. This is what the office looks like finished. Everything about this project was planned from the beginning. From the flooring, to the accent wall, to the LED lighting, to the configuration of the desk. Everything was planned. The reason why I have the desk in this configuration is because I wanted a flexible design. I wanted this room to work for both an office setup that has two desks. But if I ever need to turn it back into a bedroom, I can easily do that by just removing the desk and putting the bed in the middle. This wasn't an expensive project at all, and I loved how everything turned out. Everything I used was pretty DIY friendly. It was a lot of work, but I did it in stages and I planned everything. Like I said, I used the shelves that were from IKEA, and IKEA is perfect for DIY projects. The accent wall material was like $17 per panel and the whole panel can make more than just this wall. The hanging light that I got from Amazon was like 75 bucks. All the shelf decorations was under $100 for sure. Me, as a decorator, I mix and match expensive things with cheap things. If a decorating object that is meant to just sit there and not be used every day, I won't pay a lot of money for it. Like I said, I spend so much time in this room. I want to feel good when I'm in this space. So I put a lot of effort into a space that I want to feel comfortably slash creative in. This is where I do my full-time job. This is where I do my freelance work. This is where I make money. This is where I spend majority of my time. So I wanted my vision of this space to come alive. This is where the magic happens. This is where I calculate everything. This is where I envision what's next. So it's important I want it in a space where I can be myself in. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful. I'll put all the materials that I use in the description below. And until the next time.